Now on to the high-flying world of megastardom beckons for the low life of Loughborough. And since Madonna couldn't make it, we're in bed with Chris Needham. seen in bed with Madonna while well, this is in bed with Chris Needham, so there. <laughs> mm. My name's Chris Needham. I don't know if you actually know me. I've got a black and white Fender Stratocaster copy, and I come in a lot for um, guitar strings and that. OK. And, um... Well, I don't know whether you're going to take this. At present, I'm putting a band together, right? Mm. How do you play? Show me again. That, just that bit. Yeah, that there. No. That, that there. And then you just put your little finger on there. <laughs> the, the bass hasn't got a bass, and the drummer hasn't got a drum kit. It's Martin, our bassist. Mm. Martin Beans, our bassist. Oh, he's meant to be, except for he can't play the play thing. I'm getting there. Though. He's getting there, he's getting there. He'll be there, and he's also a potential singer for our band. Oh, yes. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> no, I'm not singing. You can't play that bloody thing. You're singing, Paul. No. It's a toss-up between playing that or singing. Because at the moment, I'm still going to have to sing. Bloody fair, worse than death, man. That's where I go and get educated. Or meant to be. That's where I'm taking my IA levels. Have a look at it. Go on. Just think of that. Bit of promotion here. Bit of promotion here. Look, the liver is only no fucking on this point. Watch this, chaps. Come on, quick, Graham. Look at this, I'm parked beyond this point now. I could get into trouble here. I'm not Graham. No, all right then, come on then, Greg. Uh, my name is Greg Wilcox. Um, oh, to me, really, it's, you know, it feels funny to be this side of the lens as I'm the main cameraman and normally behind the other lens. Uh, well, you could say, well, probably, I am Chris's best friend. Uh, we, have, we have this understanding that not many friends have, is that, uh, I oh, know, we share our problems, if you like. That's one thing I must tell you about. If you're here, if you've got spare lessons on, you're extremely bored. I mean, me being a good chap like I am, I'm always sort of done my homework and everything sort of finished while I'm doing my homework and that. So it leaves me nothing to do. And sometimes you get a lot of stick from teachers, you're going around and you can't win. It's annoying, to be perfectly honest. What are you expected to do about it, eh? It's not like you can do. So we spend our time doing stuff like this. This is OK. Look, I want this. I need this. I want this for our band. Danger of death. Keep out. That's us. Danger of death. Quite good. Greg, Greg found that amusing there. Mm. Onward. We're going up to English now. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Communicating through film. Wow. That was convenient. Hey, communicating through porn. Through their humanities, but we're not going that way, cos... Boring that way. It's boring that way. Besides, I've got my lesson. That's when my lesson's meant to be through there. My lesson's meant to be through there, so if I walk in now, I'm not going to get bulked. Say hello to Mrs. Kelly. Smile, Mrs. Kelly. That's my English GAS teacher, that is. Come on. That's my English language AS teacher, that is. She's quite nice, really. Even though she's a teacher. She's quite nice. She's quite understanding, I must admit. Sometimes I feel like I'm beating a dead horse. There's quite a good standard of art round here, I must admit that, but I'm nowhere near good that well. There he is, look, Mr. Taylor in his amazing shirt. Well then. Which one? Put it off a second. See what happens? You can't go nowhere without somebody having a go at you. It's bloody annoying. You're pissed off by it, to be frankly honest. Did you still push you around? I mean, we don't have to be legally, we don't have to be here now at 16, but we're, we're just suckers for punishment, I guess. 
buttons for punishment. But we come back. And some teachers still treat you like a kid, perfectly honest. They still look down on you and go, what do you think you're doing, boy, or what do you think you're doing, uh, whatever. <laughs> So I'm putting together a band. Well, we're putting together a band at the moment. We're currently very limited resources. I mean, the Fender Stratcaster is not exactly a rock guitar, and we're doing some gigs. Gigs and gigs are coming up. Would it be possible we could put receipts on the guitars? We only want to borrow them, or some of the actual material, you say, but some of the actual guitars and the actual guitars themselves. I mean, my mate's not got a bass. He needs a bass, and I need a, a lead or a rhythm. Why hasn't he got a bass of his own? Only got a bass of his own, but he's only just learning, you see. Right. Yeah, he's only just learning. Just speed metal is just some of the most fran finest, fantastic musicianship you'll ever hear. To play an instrument that fast. One of my most too high, isn't it? What sort of relationship have you and your brother got? Brilliant. Yeah, is he a good brother? Yeah. The name of our band is Manslaughter, and we are predominantly heavy metal, hard rock band with elements of this sort of music in it over here. That's called thrash. Who are your favourite groups? Um, Manslaughter. And the other famous groups. What other? You know, do you like ACDC? Yeah. I made them separate Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, what's your favourite out of all those? Cool. Youth are a damned culture. A lot of us are, not just me as a heavy metal fan, but youth as a whole. You'll meet that in some of my friends, and you'll see that in some of my friends sometimes in this. you see how disparaging the youth, is, or the state of the youth that they can be. And perhaps you should learn from that. All you, all you, grown-ups and fogies and parents out there, all you old bastards out there should learn something from this. That's what it is an object in teaching people to, or teaching the older generation to look at us and not look at us every time and go, oh, oh youth of today do nothing but wrong or something like that, because I don't want to hear that, all right? If you don't like it, or if you don't like it, don't want to listen to it, don't like that, then just turn over now, because if you're not prepared to listen to us, then you might as well not bother watching this at all, OK? Salmon over at last. Look, this is Loughborough, this is. This is Loughborough, and we are there. <laughs> it's gone, isn't it? How stupid! How are you supposed to know where you are? Oh, no, red alert. Look what's going on. It's all exploding. It's a nuclear attack. Oh, no. Nuclear attack soup. That's because there isn't one. Friday the 22nd of November, please look around us. All commercialised. All commercialised. You can't. Christmas one month early. Nowhere. Yeah, it has. Must have done. There's no meaning to it at all now. <laughs> Why do people watch Neighbours? It's like it's like the TV equivalent of a McDonald's meal, isn't it? Straight through. <laughs> That's why. I don't understand what all the fuss is about. I mean, you, what you get in it, what you get in it all the time, you get all the teenage morals in it. You've got stuff about, oh, should I go out with him, her? You get rape, you get blowjobs, you get everything in there. Can't you think for yourselves? What do I want a suit for? I don't want a suit. You only have a suit for two reasons, getting married and dying in, or one reason, because the they're the, both the same sort of thing. Getting married and dying. Yeah, both connected. We are all fed up with charity. We're absolutely fed up with charity. Yeah. They're like scavengers. Everywhere you turn. 
Oh, please, lend us a quick smile. Give us a quick smile like that. Everywhere you turn. See? Put it away. That's good stuff, David. Good stuff, David. Bloody hell. Strange people. Mind if we do an interview on you? For you? <laughs> We're doing a survey. Yeah. About heavy metal music. Come on. Surprised me. <laughs> Say it's brilliant, please. <laughs> Say it's brilliant, we can't. It's real weird. You don't have to. What do you like listening to? Um. <laughs> chart music. <laughs> <laughs> chart music. <laughs> we're finished now, we're finished doing the shopping and everything, and now we're taking a break and around a Kit Kat or a Wimpy, whatever comes first. Look at that lovely stuff. I bet there's only about 1% meat in there. How hey, vegetarians pop this? Ha <laughs> ha! Vegetarianism is all good and well if you want to do that. But I don't see why I should have to stop meeting meat. It doesn't bother my conscience. I need food to survive, right? So I eat. That's what I eat. Oh, oh, oh do you realise you're eating something dead there? Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. I'm enjoying it. He's dead anyway. I'm dead anyway. I've got porn in there. Porn, yeah. That's what it is. Porn, not porn and chips. Porn Look and at chips. that porn. <laughs> Uh, some porn in here. Uh, porn. Get that egg guitar in quick. As you may or may not know, I was going to do vocals for this band, but fortunately I moved from the village. Fortunately? Unfortunately, I said. Oh. So... Where's the original vocals? Who's the original band lineup? Although we didn't have a name then or nothing. You've had some shit from around here, haven't you? Stopping around here. Yeah, I've got no end of shit. quite a lot of shit, actually, because of the music that I'm into. Um, the way you look. The way I look. The That's type of pet that I have, which is a Rottweiler named Pagan. You thought uh, she can't be with us tonight, but we have a message. Panels. You thought she couldn't be with us tonight, but we have a message from you on a live transatlantic link. <laughs> woof, 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 woof. Because I listen to stuff like that, it gives us a bad name. We are evil, and we will grow up, and we will be evil, and we will do evil things. That kind of shit gets me down. Fuck you, if you think about that. Just get out of my fucking face now, all right? Do not bother me with that shit. I am perfectly okay. So don't think about it. I'm fine, all right? It's more myself when I get bothered about problems that I cannot see, I have no earthly power over that really irritate me. When I see stuff on the telly like, I don't know, people dying in other countries, Wars going off everywhere else. And things like that. And there's nothing I can earthly do in this situation. There's, but it makes you feel so helpless when you need, or you feel the need to do something, but you just turn around and you say, look, what am I supposed to do? I'm only a 17-year-old kid, an 18-year-old kid, whatever. What can you do? <laughs> Look at this. See this. Come here. Come here. This is some brilliant comment on this, and I'm prepared to agree with. Have you seen it? Look. I mean, it's just pushed bleeding people to death, isn't it? Paying out for stuff like that. Oh, look, people with empty stomachs beg to differ. I mean, if the church is so good and great about things and charity and that, and God will save you, then why should they be bothering to save the flipping tower and to pay thousands and tens and thousands of pounds just to save that frigging tower there? Hey! Yeah, the rush. I didn't do it myself, but whoever did, I'd, I'd, I'd be proud to know them, I think. I whoever did that. Wish I'd thought of it myself. Bloody good, that is.
Boys, big time dreams, solid rocking noise like a killing machine. Born from the flames of a steel porch fire, the power gets stronger as we fly higher with a crash gang. And we're ready to rock with a crash gang. Time runs off the clock with a crash gang. No easy way out, get your hands in the air and shout. Crash gang. This is where my nan lives. My nan lives there. Number six, this is on Charles Street. Tommy Nan's lives. Here she is! Hi, Nan! Say hello to her. What are you fishing? I'm fishing tomorrow. Hey. Well, I'm taking it with me tomorrow. She's worried about the fish. We've got fish for dead baits tomorrow for me with pike and we've got, we've got a load of herring. We've got four herring and three mackerel. And she's worried about them. That's what she's on about now. I'll pick them up tomorrow. Half nine. Half nine. Ten o'clock ish. Yeah. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> and that was my nan. She's all right, really. She's going to be a bit cantankerous at times and a pain in the neck, but she's a good nan. Morning. Well, I'm not entirely sure that Chris is actually a member. But he's going to find out anyway. Here we are, outside on the River Eek, indulging in one of my favourite pastimes. Got the load down there. So you bring it through, through and you go, we like that. And that's how you do it. Simple as that. Isn't that jolly? I want to tell you out there that if you want to be green, then go ahead and do it, but don't push your ideals on me. I'm not want to hear anymore. It's falling on deaf ears now, I'm telling you. I don't want to hear it anymore. It's just been overkilled. To be perfectly honest, there are times when I could just turn around and say to you, and I will say it now, look, you can burn this planet. It's your fault. With any luck, that we won't be having another generation, OK? I don't want to hear it anymore, all right? I'd rather have the planet burnt and all you greens burnt with it than you preach on to me all the time, 24 hours a day on the TV, in newspapers, in magazines now, particularly aimed at youths. Look, I'm, I'm sick of it, all right? Now, just give me a rest from it, OK? I can understand. Don't think I don't understand it. Indeed, the solutions, there are solutions that I've come up with myself, but I don't see why I should try and share these ideas for the simple reason, impracticality. One, two, nobody's going to lie, Bill, to listen to me. on fucking videos. It's just sometimes today, looking at this video diary and trying to do this video diary, I looked at it and thought, why am I bothering? <sighs> the band doesn't seem to be going anywhere from the practice you've seen today. We just sort of mess about. The input's there, the music we've played, and it just sounds crap to me. There's times when I can get really excited, but it's probably just the mood. It'll pass over. There'll be another time I knock it. I think, oh, great, we're getting somewhere, something like that. But I, I don't think I'm right suited for it, you know. I don't think... Well, I haven't got no fucking voice. We haven't got no fucking vocals, in effect. I barely play the guitar. We, to be all, all honesty, we've got a drummer who can't drum. He can't keep rhythm. 
Andy can't do that. We've got a bassist and got a bass guitar. Kevin's our best fucking hope. What about your brother singing? Very good. Yeah? Do you think he could improve on anything? Well, just a bit. This is the band session tonight. This is the band tonight. Me and him. Yourself, then. Go on, tell us. She's been working. She won't say anything. She feels dumb. You're not. You're not dumb. You can you can articulate yourself. Turn yourself into a lorry. Yeah, if you insist. <laughs> Only if you say so, Chris. Yeah. I don't really know. Ow. <laughs> Sorry. That's for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, there. <laughs> That's for you. Who's that from? Who are these from? Don't look and see. Oh, Chris. Thanks. Mm. See, I'm a caring, kind, considerate person, not just a thrash metal fan. You don't need anybody to care for you, really. Nobody really cares for anybody else. You can really say anything. Do. I really say I care about Jane, but I wonder. I really do, or try to seem in the physical and mental sense of the word. I won't be telling you now, I care for her a lot, you can probably see that, but do I really? If I really cared for her, I wouldn't have to put her through no shit at all. Everything will be fine, but that's not relationships, is it? There are always disagreements and that, and then you'd have... when you'd start to be on the way to a perfect world if you had no problems in relationships with anybody. Of course, a perfect world will never be achieved. Not in my lifetime or anybody else's. I'm sick of all this moral crap. I should have to preach to you. <sighs> Morals affect me, you see. This is what comes being forced fed shit like this for years on end. I begin to become a moral preacher myself and that's the last thing in the world I want. certain things I had in my bedroom, Greg. Yeah? In the top drawer. These are condoms, ladies and gentlemen. As in the condoms, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Did you fish them out of that top drawer and deliberately plant them on the floor of my bedroom? No. Well, who did? Because Jane didn't. And you didn't, because you were the only one in there. And you and Jane were the only ones who knew we put it in there. John. You try John, Maddie? John didn't know he put them in there, did he? Can you Probably did. She's always been in your top drawer, isn't it? Yeah, so my dad found out. And? 
he goes to me, I hope you're not messing about with Jane and that. I goes, no. And he goes, and I think they were Greg's, which is true. They were yours. But you never used them. And I says, I think they were Greg's. Greg was going to use them. No, because he said it was empty packets, so I wondered where they went. So I thought, my, my brother might have either you actually took them out of the drawer and just dropped the packet and took two with you, or my brothers took them and used them for balloons or something. The crew we have in here is pop mostly bar mop, bumps the rock band, of course they drum up. Watch this. Watch this. Now some Go for it, Andy. Well done, Andy. Great one. Yeah. Oh, I should have done for it. That's why it didn't sound. Go for it. <laughs> That's it, mate. It doesn't seem. And I've said this before, as if this band is going to come together right. Which is going to make for one crap video diary. And this is beginning to bug me now as well. Yours, I'm sitting here talking to you, and you are hearing me whinge, and you're thinking, why doesn't he get off his arse and do something about it then? again this morning. As you can see, it's a foggy day in half, isn't it? Look at that. So, what sort of hardy constitution does anglers have? I mean, it's, it's pretty damp fog out there. I mean, air chill temperatures must be about zero. Oh, out there. Hello. I've got a bike. Into that rod go. What is it? Kind of for do you have a look. It's not a roach. It's like a dace. It's not a good gym. Hang on, this will this will tell us. Yet I have actually caught viewers a dace on a canal. A one ounce dace on a canal. Is that good? Just considering they live in fast water most of the time. This one's old then. Look, look. Hey, viewers, look. In a beast fish. <laughs> so that's how many? Eight? Eight. Three different species, eight fish. Uh, three perch, four good in a of dates on a canal. Cut it there and print. In a second. There he is, the man himself. Well, Andrew. Set Here's up. Andrew. What interested you in our band then? Go on, shop. Well, I've been, I've been interested, I've been playing the drums till. How long? Well, at the age of about four, I took interest slightly. And, uh, well, because we had this like. It's like a sort of parents' evening, but it's like a hobbies night. Mm. And I went along and the. Yeah. They had this bloke there with a drum kit and they're playing it, and I, and I took it to that like a duck to water and loved it. Mm -hmm. Whoops. What happened there? <laughs> that was nothing, but that's uh, that's something I just did now, but. Mm. And what about the drumming? Well, I don't think Andrew's very good. I think Mark is quite good, and I think Greg's quite good. It's just turned 8 o'clock, like I said, and it's Tuesday, and we're here in our rehearsal studio. <laughs> so Kevin's sniggering. You're bloody joking. As you can see, there's Kevin there. Say hi, Kevin there. Hi, Kevin there. Look, no hands. And guess who that is? I am the bassist. <laughs> He's the bassist and part-time drummer. <laughs> Midnight. <gasps> Hello.
Hello and welcome to a VCD <laughs> challenge and here's your host, Clive James. Hey, yeah, welcome. <laughs> I'm Clive James and on this VCD challenge we'll be seeing who's obese enough to be fat. <laughs> and here's Beagle. Beagle. <laughs> okay, Jeremy, you're a heavy twat. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, snap, Slim! She sort of like dragged me downstairs and everything, uh, and uh, well, literally dragged me down because I yeah. I couldn't stand up due to the alcohol in my body. Ah, <laughs> in your bloodstream. And I don't know we just started dancing and uh, and the next thing I knew I was in bed. Yeah, I remember actually with Nikki. I mean, I you know I actually had this massive love bite. Literally, didn't I? Yeah. It took half my neck yeah, off. Like, just, I mean, I've been in a relationship. Uh, of course, yeah. Uh, and I've given commitment, but I mean. Nothing like that. There's no way you could... It, any, any earthly sense I should see... Now, this is me talking... Why anybody should commit themselves to a relationship of that magnitude at this sort of age. I mean, you've got your whole life ahead of you, I mean, you? Well, what's the population? How many billions of people are there in the world? 43, 45? Oh, it's more than... About 50... There's maybe about 53, actually. 53,000. So, what's that? 27... 27 and a half billion females out there. Yeah. And, and you go and get married at 17. I mean, it's... Then you're just missing out on the rest of your life. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Here we are. This is the cellar. I mean, it's actually quite a nice place to do you if you're thinking about very serious things. It's dark and... It's cold and... It doesn't help you a bit. You get rid of it, I guess. Yeah, you know, I've just been thinking about a lot of serious things lately. Um, I guess I'm just a bit angry. So, myself more than anybody else, nobody to blame. It's just I'm a bit of an angry young man at times. <laughs> It's not my music that makes me think like this. I look at my posters around my room now and think, oh, you wouldn't think. Huh, <laughs> heavy metal, eh? That's it, that's to blame. That's what makes me think the way and feel the way it does. Worthless. This stuff is my lifeline. At times to reality. My heart and soul make you wish you could be like some of these. I've got a crummy voice and I can barely play guitar. But if I learn, I show the commitment, one day I'm going to make it. I'm going to be like them. Take a nap, take a nap. The only problem I'm having at the moment is going to school, because I don't want to be in school. I want to be out with the band, either gigging or rehearsing or practising. We all do. I do. Because I want, I really want to turn around to school now and say, look, sorry, I just want to break this time and I want to be with my band. I want to be able to say, look, can we, can we just have a month off with me and my band? Get yeah, everybody, the, all the band members to have a month off. You, even the road crew, to have a month off. We could take a month off and we could go and do some serious practice and we could get this all figured out. But we're school kids. That's the problem. It's one of the problems you've got to overcome. Come on. Right there. Next time, 
next to me here, we have our bassist, Gavin with the trendy cap. Gavin, we've got to interview him, Gavin Skinner. There we go. As you Notice see... the embroidery on the cap. Oh! <laughs> Gavin doesn't think much to the stuff the band are doing because we are not managing to get the drumming together or anything like that. There's nothing wrong with them personally. We're all still good mates and that, but it's just, it's getting us down. And the band think that Gav's butting in a bit because he's coming in and he's got such a high degree of musical talent because Gav is such a good bassist at present and he's also pretty good, he can drum as well and he can also play guitar to an extremely high level. The, the band have all been played to this certain level. Gav comes in, you come in, who's actually been on camera now. He comes in and he says, um, well, I want you to play this sort of way, but we can't match that standard. It's not our problem, I'm afraid, Gavin. I'm sorry about that and that. But that's what we all think as well. So I have nothing against anyone personally. It's just that it can be so frustrating at times when like, you want to play a gig, you want to get somewhere, and, you know, nothing's happening. Like you, you feel like you're battling against everybody because I went in there and you thought, thought you know, great, we're gonna get some songs done. Like we're gonna play on Wednesday and we're gonna knock the crowd out. But I find that's not the case. It's an interesting feeling What it's with with Andrew is he wants all of it or it's nothing. Right, well, I mean, I've noticed that. You know, what was going to say, Gav? His drunk kit. He wants. No, to hang, hang on a second. What? You just you just said something. Here. Bad keep are oh, they keeping him in the band? He's getting a better deal get, being in yeah. this band. And if you keep him in the uh, band, he's going to expect to. Yeah, hang, yeah, hang on a sec. That's that's what I'm saying. I don't want him in the band. Mm. Full stop. Don't. I have, I have got, nothing you... against him personally. But come on, music there. Yeah, I know. It's going to hold us back. I don't know if he's any good at writing songs. Stop it, Andrew's on the phone. Excuse me, Andrew's on the phone. Hold on a minute. Say it again. The neighbours have got a petition up. Say that again. Yeah, you know a petition? Yeah. The neighbours have got, all the neighbours around here have got a petition up. Just to stop you drumming? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I won't. And then you've got to blow him away straight away. You want to say, look, we don't want you in there. It may sound, you know, bad, but... Suppose it's like, oh, great, we're getting a band together. Let's get all the mates. And then you find out your mates can't play. Yeah. What do you think to uh, Kevin and Gavin's guitar room? Very good, actually. Yeah? Well, good. It's now Tuesday morning. It is now officially the day before our gig. And boy, are we in for some shit. Because at this rate, we're not going to be ready nowhere near. <laughs> and you're going to turn around when you see this end bit, you're going to think, oh my. Hang on, God. what's wrong with us? We can't play. Why? We can't. It says who? It says ours. We haven't got the standard. No, hang on. We can play. We've got more. Well, we've got three songs done. Fair enough. Three songs does not make an entire set. Four. Call it five, and I might start believing it. What do you think to this whole idea of um, Chris having this video? And has he got pissed off with it at times? No. No. He has. I mean, I must probably sound as cliched as hell here now. You always think, oh great, there's another kid out there who's got problems. Well, I've got problems too, as well. Don't you know? You probably people probably write in and see seeing this, say, well, that kid's not the only one in the world with problems, etc., etc., etc. Well, yeah, I know, but when you've got your own problems, you just think or feel that nobody else in the world has any more. Understand that. To be honest, I don't think anyone knows why he gets these depressions. He, you know, he's got no reason to. I mean, he's got everything going for him. He's got his A-levels, he's got a girlfriend, he's got the band, this video diary. Basically, he's, he's had a good life, and we just don't see why he has these problems. Me, as you know, or know the sort of character I am, I'm not. And I never will be, I don't think. 
scared of dying because death comes to us or whatever. And we always suffer the consequences. I and mean, there's nothing we can do. We're all going to die sooner or later. And this dream shocked me and it stark reality. I mean, it felt real. I mean, it felt as if I'd been just been transported to another place, not that I was lying in my bed somewhere. What it was about was I was in the middle of my nightmare. And I could feel the wind whipping up around me, almost like I could feel this. And I walked through a gate, a wrought iron gate, and I thought, what's going on? And I realised that I was in a graveyard by now. And there was sort of this mist that clung on to me, and it, oh, it felt horrible. A cold, clammy sort of mist. I've experienced mist before, but whenever one like this, I mean, like, it stuck on me or around me. It made me feel... Oh, just horrible. And so I was walking through this graveyard, and then, bam, out of nowhere, fairly big gravestone appeared in front of me. Big letters, here lies the body of... Christopher Needham. Born 14th of the 10th, 74. Died something. June 92. And I just stood there. And the next thing I knew, I woke up and I was crying. <laughs> and it upset me. I've never dreamed anything like that before. Now, you know we had a few beers and that, but beer has never done that with me before. Not made me dream like that. Something made that dream or nightmare, as it were. You know how it feels now? Feeling stressed, dear? Yes. No, the fourth, fifth years are coming in after the fourth year. You're joking. <laughs> It's not hard, it's not dangerous, there's no cook-up. Oh, I know, it's the teachers. Oh, yeah. Major trauma. Um, I'm not going to sound awful. Greg! Yes! Oh, 
so you saw it then? <laughs> oh dear me, I thought it went absolutely superb because really considering all the practice we have, the amount of practice we have this morning can be seen or counted upon the fingers of my left hand. None whatsoever. I don't know what it's going to sound like because I've not said I don't know what the hell it's going to sound like when you when you when you've watched it. I don't know what it sounds like. You probably think it's a load of crap, but I thought according to us, what that's what we think what, what we think counts. And I thought it went bloody brilliant. And I'm dead chuffed and I'm absolutely knackered. Flipping school. Oh, I don't believe this. Let's go in. Come on. Let's go. I've had enough of this. Hang on. Got this? Yeah. Well, that's when you're ready. Yeah, it's just those odd words, though. You're putting too much emphasis on them, right? Okay. Perfect, Chris. It is too late, though we see the light so death evolves. But we need to fight, no direction, as we may consent. Well, what's up? It is too late, though we see the light so death evolves. The people cry as we destroy our place. Oh, I've done it again. That is, I cannot do anything about it. Somebody else. Said it. Basically, that was it. That was my program. This has helped a great deal, but I can't do a video diary forever, can I? And so here I am. Now, finishing it. Hold on. Hold on a sec. I forgot the words. <laughs> do it again. Just do it one more. This bit, I just genuinely needed to talk to you. To say, I don't know, I'm in a funny sort of mood now. It's just like the diary sort of like virtually ended. And I guess I'm just feeling a bit hollow down here it is too late though we see the light so death evolves but we need to fight no direction as we make a stand pawns of deception we're all living down shit see what I mean sounds like it's been through it a couple of times on every American teen movie you've ever seen. But it happens, and it's true. And I hope if any of the older people out there are watching, they might just be able to respond to that and appreciate it. I'm sure we were all teenagers once. I'm sure we always will be. Some of us. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure to be here. I appreciate your viewing. Now, let's rock and roll. Don't give a fuck, becoming green, the world 
disguise The truth I've seen, you're stinking 